Right, well this is just a brief uh, run through about how to change the belt uh, in the uh, the Phillips 4307 um, and also the clutch um, assembly that, for the take up spool. So uh, obviously just to take the top off there, um, what you've got is that's the configuration of the belt on this model. Um, some of these, the 4307s have the um, a pulley there and I can't think what it's for but anyway this is the, the most popular one um, and uh, just change the belt it's uh, take that off with the screw in the middle to get uh, gain access easy to that um, put it on the bottom pulley there's two put it on the bottom pulley otherwise we'll be running at the wrong speed uh, take uh, take that off it's pretty easy uh, just to circle it there uh, take it off the pressure uh, slide that up and uh, take the pressure roller off watch the spring there's a spring just there watch that take that screw out obviously to get it off three screws um one two and uh, three under there lift it off the um the, the shaft the capstan uh, just ease it off there and uh, if you haven't got enough cable just relieve it there's a cable tie at the back of there just release the pressure um on that to um allow you a bit more slack lift it off Put the belt on it's pretty obvious around the around the capstan um flywheel uh when it comes to the uh you know, i'll just prove it's working look that's the uh, take up spool now working since i changed the the clutch um rubbers when you get these and they've been standing for a long time the rubbers perish as you know and um because it's phillips uh i'm known to be too frightened about it if you fixed a few Phillips in the past, you'll know what I mean. Uh, take that off. Then there's a circlet underneath the chassis. Uh, unclip that off the shaft and take out the um, take out the clutch assembly. And when you take it out, you'll find that it's uh, the whole thing's perished. That belt goes around the outside of the top pulley there. Um, and um, as I say, just pull the whole thing out. And uh, that's your um, that's your clutch uh, there. And um, what you've got when you take it apart, you'll see that all the rubbers are perished. Now then, um, I haven't seen anywhere on the internet or uh, or YouTube about this model, about these clutches. Um, so I found that three quarter diameter uh, seals, um, and that are just a I don't know, just a just under an eighth of an inch thick. Um, don't seem to be very critical um, and you uh, clean that up get all the rubber off the old dissolved rubber and press one part in there that is the one way clutch and um, that's uh, that's all you do pull back together and um, ease the ease the seals back in and uh, you'll find that it's a one way clutch and uh, it works really well those seals you can get from the toolbox, uh, you know, the, the high street um, toolbox shop that sell, sell them all in this a handy size for about three quid. And um, that's, the, that's the one there that I use and uh, it seems to work fine.